Okay, this is a problem from uh, section 6.4, and this is uh, number 30. And if you read this, let's have a look and see here. Write this down as we go over it. Um, finding the original temperature of a beam, an aluminum beam was um, brought in from the outside cold into a machine shop where the temperature was held at 65 degrees after 10 minutes. The beam warmed to uh, 35 degrees after another 10 minutes it warmed to 50 degrees. Uh, Use Newton's law of cooling to estimate the initial temperature. That's the initial temperature. So my surrounding temperature is going to be 65 degrees because I bring the beam in. After 10 minutes its temperature, its current temperature is 35 degrees. After 20 minutes, its current temperature is 50 degrees. What we're going to look for is T sub zero, the initial temperature. And this is Newton's law of cooling. T minus T sub zero, e, I'm sorry, T minus T sub S equals T sub zero minus T sub S e to the minus or negative KT. Now we don't have the K, and we've got some times there, so we're going to kind of have to use a tricky little way to find this out. So you'll, you'll see what happens. First of all, I've got two situations, okay? Uh, one is uh, when it's 35 degrees, that's after 10 minutes, so I put this all in Newton's uh, law of cooling. And I've got 35 minus 65 equals T sub 0 minus 65, E to the negative K, and T is 10. Now you'll say, well, we've got two unknowns here, but we do have two equations, so we can, use, we can solve those. You have two equations, you can solve two unknowns. Okay, the second situation, okay, uh, my temperature is 50 degrees, my surrounding temperature is 65, initial temperature minus 65, E and negative K, and that was after 20 minutes. Okay, so I've got these two equations, now let's kind of multiply these out. Uh, the equation number one can simplify, uh, I should say, that's going to be negative 30, T minus 65 e to the negative kt, and then if I multiply, if I uh, simplify this out, this will be negative 15. Uh, t sub 0 minus 65, e to the negative k times 20. So these are my two equations, and I simplified them, my two situations. hope you can read this, because I didn't have time to redo it in ink, sorry. Now, we've got two equations with two unknowns. Now, if we, if this left equals the right, and this left side equals this right, then we can divide both sides of the equation by the same side or by the same quantity or equal quantities, and we'll get the same values, or we'll maintain our equality. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going to divide this by negative 15. I'm going to divide this by this, which is the same thing as negative 15. So actually, I'm dividing both sides by negative 15. If I divide this by negative 15, I get 2. If I divide this by negative 15, but only in this form, this is what I get. And look, look what happens. The t sub zeros minus 65s become 1, and then I just have e, and then I've got negative 10k and negative 20k. So I've eliminated one of my variables by dividing. Okay? So 2 equals, and then what we can do is we could just say the top exponent minus the bottom exponent. So it ends up that 2 equals e to the 10k. So now I'm going to be able to find k. So if I know that 2 equals e to the 10k, if I take the natural log of both sides, and then I bring the 10k in front, and the natural log of e is just 1, I have the natural log of 2 equals 10k, then if I divide both sides by 10, k equals the natural log of 2 over 10. So now I can go back and I can put this into either one of my equations and solve for the other unknown. So I, I just used uh, equation number one up here in this form, negative 30, t sub 0 minus 65, e to the negative, and instead of k, I found out what k was. That's negative the natural log of 2 over 10 times 10. That actually worked out to be an easier one to do anyway. But you could put it in either equation, it would work. And then that's going to end up being equal, if I take a look at this, it's going to be um, negative 30 equals, and I'm just simplifying over here, t minus 65e, and then uh, negative, and then the 10s cancel. 
Okay? Um, now, e to the negative natural log of 2. e to the negative natural log of 2 is the same thing as 1 over e to the natural log of 2. So this is just over here. That's what this is. All right? So we're just kind of simplifying e to the negative natural log of 2 because that's 1 over e to the natural log of 2. Now, e to the natural log of 2, this is the exponent that when I raise e to it, I get 2, so that's just going to be 2. So that's 1 half. So this all over here is 1 half, so I just have negative 30 t sub 0 minus 65, and all this is just 1 half. And if I multiply both sides by 2, I get negative 60 equals t sub 0 minus 65. If I add 65 to both sides, t sub 0, oops, sorry, t sub 0 equals 5. So again, this is a little bit of your logarithm. Remember, e to the negative log 2, okay, that's the same thing as, I, I just did this over here, 1 over e to the natural log of 2. And remember, e to the natural log of 2, this is the exponent, the natural log of 2 is the exponent that when I raise e to it, I get 2, so that's just 2. So this becomes 1 half, and I put this in over here, multiply by 2, and I get t sub 0 minus 65 equals negative 60. Add 65 to both sides. t sub 0 is 5 degrees. So take a look at that. hope you can read it. It's a little faded over here, so try to work it out. That should give you enough to be able to work it out on your own. Okay? Hope that helps.